Hello, and welcome to Vavork. I'm Brian Watrous. This is the 14th in a 10-part video series in which we're learning how to automate using Vrealize Orchestrator. In this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at a package that I've created in order to help you learn how to do things in Orchestrator. To get this package, the first thing that you're going to do is go to the URL that you see on the screen here. So tinyurl.com slash vvork dash vro examples. Let's actually uh, do that real quickly here. I'll switch over to my web browser. As you can see, I've already typed the URL. I'm just going to hit enter. And as you can see, that tiny URL is going to redirect to Dropbox. And here in Dropbox, we have one and just one file. Later on, I may add more files, but the one we're looking for for this video and the following few videos is this one called info.vvork.examples.package. So I'm going to click on that file. And I'm going to download it. Uh, if you have Dropbox, you can save it into Dropbox. But you don't need Dropbox to get a hold of this file. I'm just going to directly download it to my local machine by clicking on Direct Download. And as you can see here from the fancy Mac animation, there is a file being downloaded called, you guessed it, info.vvork.examples.package. That's the package file that we need. So once you've got the package, the file that you're looking for is the one that I just showed you, info.vvork.packages. But once you've got the package, you need to install that package into the VRO client. And I'd like to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go over to the VRO client. Here's the VRO client. And as you can see, I'm currently in run view, which is unfortunate because that's the view out of these three views. That's the one view that doesn't allow me to work with packages. I can choose design or I can choose administrator, but run won't work. I need to choose design or administrator. Let's choose design in this case. And as you can see, I have the packages tab. On the packages tab, you can see that I already have a number of different packages installed, but I want to install the newest package that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on the import package button and I'm going to go into, let's see if I can find it here, my downloads folder. And in here, I have a file called info.vvork.examples.package. I'm just going to simply click open. And when I do so, as you can see, the first thing that the package importing wizard is telling me is that this is a signed package, as all orchestrator packages are. This one's signed, and if I want to be really, really careful here, I can use the information that's here on this screen to make certain that this package is, in fact, from who I think it is and that everything with it is okay. So if you want to be uh, really careful here, you can confirm when you download my package, uh, you can confirm that the fingerprint is the one that you see here. Actually, come to think of it, uh, that fingerprint might, let's see, is that the package? Does that fingerprint have the information about the contents or is it just the certificate? I forget which, but I plan on updating this package in the future. Uh, I suspect that this fingerprint won't change because this is the fingerprint of the certificate. Uh, anyways, if it does change, um, don't worry about it. Just as long as you download it from the URL that I gave before, you'll be getting the right package. Anyways, let's uh, click import. And if you've ever imported a package before, you know that that package could contain a number of different things. For instance, I have some workflows here that are going to be imported. The checkbox here means uh, do import these things. So we've got some workflows that are gonna be imported. Looks like we've got a graphics file that we're gonna import. And if I scroll down a bit more, there's some more um, workflows, another uh, graphics file, an action. And if I keep going on down here, there's more workflows, more actions, more um, graphics files. Plus there's also an action down here called get all VMs, which is intentionally not being imported because I already have that work, excuse me, I already have that action in my orchestrator server. So if you see any of these checkboxes unchecked, don't worry, it doesn't mean there's something wrong. It just means that orchestrator knows that you already have a newer version of that item and therefore it's not going to be imported. So short version of this is don't worry about all those checkboxes. Just click on the import selected elements button. And a short while later, you will, I'm looking down here on the bottom of the packages. It's importing the package any moment now. There we go. 
uh, you will see a new package that's been imported called info.vivoarc.examples. And if you want to see what's in there, you can select the package. So I've selected the package. There we go. Not quite certain why that was taking a while. Uh, I've in, uh, selected the package and on the general tab, you can see some general information about the package. But more importantly, if you go to the workflows tab, you can see here are all the workflows that have been imported. You might notice that there's something a little different about this one. We'll talk about that one later on in a uh, future video, but uh, don't worry about that one. That's just a regular workflow. These are all workflows. Uh, I can see any actions that are being imported and additionally other things like configurations and resources and so forth. But I'm most interested in these next few videos in taking a look at the actions and workflows that this package has imported. So if you go to actions, under actions, you see a whole bunch of different modules and they're sorted thankfully alphabetically. So if I go down towards the bottom, uh, the package I imported actually imported two different modules. Uh, this one here has a single action called info excuse me, a single action called get memory in megabytes from VM. And we also have this other module called info.vvork.food that has some action called get fruits. We'll talk in a later video about um, what these two actions do. But I want you to see that you're getting two actions. That's where they reside. And additionally, we've um, through this package gotten a hold of some workflows. So if we go to the workflows tab, you'll now have a folder called vvork. If you go into vvork examples, you can see that I've given you a whole bunch of different examples. Again, we'll be talking about these examples in the following few videos. But that's it for this video. Um, in this video, I've shown you where to get the package. I've shown you how to install the package. And um, in the next video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the first of several different branching mechanisms in vRealize Orchestrator. Now, branching may not be a word you've heard before, but uh, quite likely you've heard of if-then um, constructs in programming. That's what we're going to be looking at in the following video. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the video, but otherwise I will see you over in the next video.